All right, everybody, stop. Stop what you're doing right now. I want you to visualize something. It's years ago, or maybe it's right now, and you are a broke-ass bitch. See, there have been times in Zeos's career where this has been a problem for him and for everyone around him. And this was the answer. The Philips Ship 9500s. If you've never heard of, say, a pair, if you could still find them, they were great. And they went for about $65, $50 to $65. And they were the answer for years. It was literally like, hey, Zios, I'm trying to get into the Ship 9500s. You didn't even finish my sentence. Ship 9500s, fuck off. Because that was the only thing you needed. These were just too good and too comfortable and too well built to ignore. But the age of the Ship 9500s has passed. Um, in more recent memory, the things that have sort of stuck out, stuck out, stuck out to me, obviously this, cost KPH 40, $40 detachable cable, you can get a balanced one for it, change pads, do whole mods, like 40 fucking dollars is dumb. D dumb easy money. But we were lacking in the big headphone department. We had to go all the way up, don't fall off, to the Thyodio Ghost at $130-ish a pair to get that like, ooh, that's affordable. 130 isn't like, because again, broke ass bitches don't have $130 spend of a headphone. But this has been consistently, for however many, a year now, the best buy for your money. I hang that up. And I pick up the JT1, Fio's JT1. So Fio got into the headphone game recently. They did the FT3. I have the FT5 over there waiting for a review. Fuck all that shit. All that noise. Stop it. Because I was recommended this from a, from a person I chat with online. I was not sent this by Fio. This was just, he, he bought it. Because like, hey, you hear about this $69 headphone? Let me just double check because in case I'm going crazy. $69.99, $69, that's under $100. Full frame, full size dynamic headphone with dual entry 3.5s. This is the wire. We'll talk about the wire because the wire, the wire is the important thing because if you're a gamer and you're watching this, hello gamers, you want a gaming fucking headset? You need a microphone? Guess what? The stock wire comes with a microphone. It's just got a four pole and it's a nice wire. I'm just balancing these fuck you Theo that's how I started the original ship 9500 it would have gotten demonetized if I did that one now these are Jade Audio which it's Theo so I don't know why they label it Jade Audio born for music I've added the red and blue indicators using a white paint pen and magic markers but let's look let's give the overall extremely lightweight well it's a cheap headphone Zio, so of course it's extremely lightweight ah but extremely lightweight and built really well. So spring steel on top, elastic comfort strap with the, just the, the gentlest, thinnest, softest foam, um, metal, metal, actually wait, are you metal? Are you plastic? Plastic there, holding metal, metal screws, plastic cups, metal back. So it's, it, like, I've seen a lot of headphones in my day. This is a well-built headphone. It's put together. It's Fio. They make lots of stuff. It's not Joe Blow. Fuck, even Philips was, like, kind of in the game, but they had attention to detail. They had the comfort strap. They had the little piece of tape to keep it from scratching. There was a single-sided thing that you could have the microphone in line. The fact that this comes with a microphone in line by default is like, holy shit, I could just recommend this to gamers. Just plug it into anything. You're right into your onboard sound, your fucking game controller, and you've got a microphone, and you're good to go. Now, the pads. I have not peeled them off, but they are a, literally just a peel-off replaceable pad. We're not going to touch them because they're comfortable as fuck. And not like Ship 9500 comfortable where everyone was like, it kind of feels like I'm laying my face on an old Honda interior, a cloth Honda interior. Not that. These are like soft, plushy, le pleather, not real leather, but it's, oh man, it's, it's like, this is a thing. These are a thing. By the way, the default left and right indicators are little dots here. I like to point out one is blue and one is red. 
I like blue and red. They're good for indicating things. Um, super soft pads. Articulates this way. Does not articulate front to back. So I put them on and it was immediately an uncomfortable thing because they weren't tucking behind my ears. It was sort of like sitting flat and it's not articulating. So if you need to do this, pay attention. I'm going to school you now. Grab it by the part that seems the strongest and articulate it like that. See how I'm bending the fuck out of it? And then when you let go, it sort of stays. See how there's like a gap in front now? I had to do that. And now they fit beautifully. Too many people are afraid to manipulate the fuck out of their headphones until they're almost broken. But you can do it. As long as it's metal and you're not grabbing it by a plastic bit and then twisting it and the plastic breaks, breaks, you don't want that. So now I put these on, by the way, vent hole up here, which I just noticed. Put these on with their, like we're talking about Tascam fucking Pro 82, Tacstar Pro 82 comfort levels. These are insanely comfortable and I'm not, so let's just assume that I just got these and all I did was assess the build, which is fantastic for the price. And let's assess the comfort. Fuck. And then we hit the button that plays to play play. What? What the flying? Theo, you're ruining it. You're not You're not ruining the headphone game. You're winning the headphone game, but you're ruining a reason for me to recommend three and four and five hundred dollar versions of your headphones. What are these? I'm not playing like Blink-182 or shitty pop rock. I'm playing fucking like, like legit audiophile crap. This is Carlos Herndita. Shine pin. Wow, I can't read anything. The guitar collection. It's just from the guitar collection. And it legitimately sounds as good or better than everything else in this desk. What are you doing? How are you doing that? Well, I kind of know how they're doing it. Let me lower some knobs. There's some knobs I got to turn. This knob for that. This knob for that. And this knob is coinciding with this. Um, in fact, I'll just unplug the cost. We don't need you to run now. Now, babies, go sleep. Sleep now. You're good. When you put these on just static with nothing playing, you're going to notice a dulling of the world. They kind of sound like a closed back. They're not. You, you could just see that they're open. But they have so much dampening that I would almost confuse them for a closed back. And that, I think, is partly where the magic lies. See, Mr. Speakers does this all the time, or Dan Clark Audio does this all the time, where their open backs sound closed as fuck, and then they sound amazing. Or his closed backs sound closed as fuck, and those also sound amazing. There's so much dampening in here to capture the bass. And bass it does capture. And these aren't a bass headphone. Those are the Aris. Look for those later. But... Uh, how... Like that, right there. That, that, whatever the fuck harmonica bastard is doing right there should be the telltale sign of you have a cheap headphone, Zeos, and it sounds meh. I'm mid. I would not be here making this video. Well, I would be here making the video regardless, but I would not be in this sort of mind frame if this was a mid headphone. This is a fucking exceptional headphone. This is an 11 out of 10 headphone. And it's sound-based. All the other shit, the build and the wire, how nice the wire is and the comfort, that is a bonus to the sound. I only get these like every two years. Okay, just measure the time between ship 9500s and costs 30s and 40s, and then finally Ghost. And then we're back down to an affordable price that you all can buy and fucking tell me if I'm an asshole. And you know what? I know I'm not because the Amazon reviews are in. It's only got 13 ratings, but 4.8. 4.8 is insanely high for anything on Amazon, even if it's only got 13 fucking ratings. So I bought these immediately. I purchased them. 
wasn't going to message Theo and be like, hey, can you? He's like, hey, you got to try these headphones. They are something special. So I bought them. I burned them in. For those of you who don't know what burning is, it's just plug your headphone in, hit play, leave it alone. Walk away and do dinner, go to sleep, put them in a drawer. Let them just run because it's new and new things are tight and tight things aren't relaxed. And if they're not relaxed, they're not broken in. It's like pants, any moving drivers. I just like to let them go for 20 hours or 40 hours. Just, just fucking run. This way, you know, when you put them on for the first time, that's how they're going to sound for the rest of their life. Usually, unless it's going to break apart over 30 years in dryness. Doesn't matter. By the way, you like my purple asylum cable on it? Great. This cable costs $360. You don't need this. Also, it's being adapted to use headphones for the 3.5 millimeter, so it can't even do it by default, although I'm trying to work on that with them. Um, I have a $1,000 cable on the Ghost, just in case you would think I'm being unfair with the competition. The... Thank you, Theo. Thank you. It's been so fucking long. I've been stuck... People are always like, Zio, so you keep reviewing these $1,000 DACs, $2,000 amplifiers, $4,000 speakers. Where's the cheap shit? Let me give you the reason I don't do cheap shit anymore. There isn't any new good cheap shit. I've established my, my fucking foundations. 40s? Ghosts? When the ship 9400s were here, there's that. Micah MB42s turned into RB42s. I would only need two or three recommendations in the I can't afford jack shit, I'm a broke ass college student level. And I have them. But I haven't had an under $100 full size headphone in a while. I've had a few come through and they've been all right. I can't remember what they are right now. These, I'll remember what they are. The JT1s, I'll remember what they are. Because these are going to be the fucking recommendation for as long as the ship 9500s were, these will be. If you own hundreds of dollars in headphones, buy these. But what's the hell $69 to you? Buy them, burn them in, and then go into them with no bias. It's hard to do, but go into it with no bias. And just listen to them. Because it's like, it's a closer sound than the ghost. I was trying to compare directly to the ghost, and it isn't a direct comparison. It isn't like, well, this one and this one are the similar. They're they're dissimilar. This one is far away and soft. You're out there. And it sounds like the Meze 109s, which are an eight hundred dollar amazing headphone that are soft and out there. This is more focused. It that's why I brought the ships out, because I remember the ships competing with the HG six hundreds, which Obviously, the HD600s are a thing. I may have been a little bit crazy, but they're a much closer sound. And then you put these on, and you got this, like, just wall of detail and warmth. It sounds like you're cocooned because you're putting them in, and it, it sounds closed, so you're not getting a lot of outside interference. But then you, you get, like, this tonality shift of just this warm bubble of sound. Like, here, I'm putting back on. And I, I painted them so I know so I had to put them on. Put them back on. I'm going to shuffle a little bit. The bass, the bass hits are so clean and so nice. There is no fucking way this is a $69 headphone. Even just that aspect of it. Just the way the bass hits in this particular song, which is Bay Miller's Playground from um, Arcane, is like, what? No, stop. I dream of having a car with a sound system that sounds as good as these headphones. It won't happen. There's too much shit going on. Just to have like a, like a bass hit that's just a smooth slap on the back. Not like, blah, blah, blah. Just, just something that's overwhelmingly powerful and in control. If they have one flaw, it's that their sound stage isn't crazy wide. And is that really a flaw? At $69, with the way it controls the sound, the tonality, the fucking detail retrieval, the imaging, all of these things are 10 out of 10. Like, despite price, like if you just lined up six headphones in a row blindfolded someone and put them on their head 
and you have to judge and assess comfort and weight. The weight is nothing. The weight is nothing. The comfort is about as good as you get in a headphone. Like legitimately. Like tungsten is super comfortable for a giant planar. If tungsten weighed half as much and then you made the pads slightly smaller so they're not as big in your head, that there is ways to improve comfort on even the most comfortable headphone. I don't think you could do it with these. Because it's touching my, like, this isn't a very deep pad. It isn't even a very big thing. It's barely a three knuckle. But the inside of here, this is all foam covered as well, probably for tuning purposes. But even if your ear is touching it, there's three millimeters of foam in there. So everything is soft. Your whole head is just touched by the softness. And then the sound comes on and literally rocks you like a hurricane. R rocks you like a hurricane all fucking night. Put back on, put back on, put back on. I want to keep talking about music. I want to keep talking. Just, I'm just, it's one of those reviews that I wasn't going to do it tonight. I was going to wait till tomorrow or the next day. Keep using, just keep using them for days and days and days. The words will never come to me. How to describe how fucking good these are. It's, it's a price to performance thing always with me. All right. I get super excited when something is cheap and good. If something is $500 and sounds like it's worth $500, I'll give it an, an okay. I give it my blessing. I give it a review. I recommend it. It's fine. But if something is $60 fucking $9 and I think I could look at my wall and it competes with things in the $500 range, get a new shirt. Nipples ripped him apart. What happened? How'd he die? Nipples. Rock hard. Killed him. That's how it happened. Sorry. Go down to the corner and fill out the report. These are... I'm legitimately I've listened to the to the Fios, the other expensive Fios. They're not as good as this. To, to me, to my for my personal preference, this is a better sound. This might be the best sounding thing Fio has ever made ever, including their IMs when they were on the ball. I mean, I can't compare it to Dax and Amps, that's dumb. But how do they do it? It, uh, like just the, the, the shaker the shaker and the, 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 the that's his monogatari so that's immediately channel fucking block so I should probably even never have even put that much on there fuckers um, this is my sound demo playlist so if you want a sound demo of this five dollar patrons get access to sound demos also reviews early also yard sales more about that at the end. Um, yeah, the only people who are not going to like this are people who don't want to be super close to the music. Then you get Ghost. But like I put them on and I felt it like I'm sat down in a chair right on the stage of Richard Cheese. Oh, God, the clarity. It's like force. You know, all right. <laughs> I don't want to compare to Abyss, but it kind of feels like an Abyss headphone. Like it's just all close, clean sound. But then there's also this like warmth to it that Abyss can never seem to pull off. So this is what Abyss should sound like. Hey, Abyss, you should get these $69 headphones and use them as a tuning sample for whatever you're doing with Diana in 1266 because... You'd sell out of the fucking park. And you just charge like $6,000. It's fine. There's an energy to them. I'm going to I'm gonna crank the volume down a little bit because Richard Cheese is a little bit bright. So I, there are headphones that fix your music. And there are headphones that just give you your music and say, here you go. I hope you have good taste because if you don't, I'm going to fucking smash you with it. This is that side. If Richard Cheese sounds a little bright, it'll sound a little bright. It won't make things that aren't bright, bright. It'll just make things that exist with flaws. It'll show you the flaws, which is usually a thing for like a mastering headphone, not a monitoring headphone, a mastering one. Something that you sit down in a, in a studio in Berlin and you have a mixing console 12 feet wide and you adjust and you're trying to get the levels. 
I don't think that's quite what they're going for with this $69 headphone with a microphone attached to the cable. But I'm just saying. Something's waste and taken from me. Feeling like a freak on a leash. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm just, every time I change this to an audio file track and there's just like violins, I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? All right, let's put the stock cable on for a minute. The softest of hot minutes. Hold on, everybody. So, stock cable. The, the metal. Metal connectors. 3.5 millimeter. This is a $69 headphone. Blue aluminum. The color sides are red and blue on the actual the spacers between the fucking tip and ring are baby blue and red the right side has a box with a button a single button to play pause next track last track on your phone if you have that hooked up to your phone split also metal this wire kind of actually almost too thick like just it's thick it's still got some some waves in it from when i unpacked it but you give this like two weeks of actual use. I've obviously been using other wires. It'll straighten out. It does come with this rubber uh, tie on that you're going to have to slide the fuck off of there if you don't want to use it, which I don't want to use it. But there's your end connector. If this had the interchangeable ends and made it balanced, it'd be just beyond the things. But I get them not doing that because it's got four pole, which means you can use the microphone that's in line. So put the quarter inch adapter on there, slide that in there. Tell you how much worse it sounds. Definitely quieter because not balanced. Let's go. Let's let's do this, ladies and Leroy Jenkins. How does it sound so good on my phone? How does it sound so good on my fucking phone? Hold on, we gotta do a sound test for the microphone. We gotta go to the Patreon chat. For $10 a month, you can join my Patreon chat, which is this chat with 159 members, and you could hear me do things like this. I'm currently testing, hold on, is it, is it that, or is it, where is it? This, which, which microphone am I testing? Definitely the Fio microphone. Anyway, we're on the Fio JT1's microphone, and I'm about to play this back and see how good it sounds. I'm currently testing, hold on. Is it that, or is it... That is way too fucking loud. Oh, gods. I apologize. I apologize. So, don't you guys want to be in the chat where I fucking destroy your ears? Let's see how that sounds on the speaker. Oof. Is it that or is it this? Which, which microphone am I testing? Definitely the Fio microphone. Anyway, we're on the Fio JT1's microphone. I'm about to play this back and see how good it sounds. Hold on. I definitely apologize for that. This microphone is obviously gained way high and would need to be adjusted in an app. So, yeah, you'd probably have to adjust that sensitivity in an app. Everything's got to have one flaw, just one. The fact that it has a microphone at all. Actually, you know what? It's perfect. If Xbox still lets you yell at people, that's the sort of quality you want. You want to sound like you're fucking screaming all the time because you're important. Okay. What else do I need to tell you to sell this fucking headphone? Because that's the thing. I don't care if you buy it. Affiliate profits on this is going to be fucking minimal because it's a $60 headphone. Just put it in the back of your mind that if you need a cheap, amazing, like, this is the gift headphone. This is the headphone you, that you could afford to gift someone, and they're going to look at the box and be like, eh, oh, by the way, it comes with a, what can only be described as a burlap sack. It, it's, it's the thinnest, worst bag ever. This is what it's like to be in with Zios. Here you go. There's your black sack. 
So, I mean, I just, just throw this away. Honestly, this is the cheapest. It's actually nicer feeling on the inside than the outside. So I'd probably, yeah, I'd do that. I would reverse it. Then you have a smooth bag. And then it's really annoyingly rough and cheap on the inside. But that's all it comes with. It doesn't come with anything else. It doesn't need to. They've included some of the most comfortable, once modified, and fine, per, I don't want to say best built, perfectly finely built stainless steel, metal, and plastic combinations. It, it's 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 the new default. It, it, it replaces the Ship 9500's under $100 full-size headphone recommendation. There has not been one since then. The closest we got was the Ghost, and the Ghost sometimes dropped to $99 when they're on, like, crazy sale. And you know what? You could fucking own both of these. Don't think you have to pick between one because they're completely different sound signatures. This is laid back and far away, and this is right up in your face and aggressively clear. It's aggressively clear. And it's the best thing Fio's ever made. It's the best thing that Fio's ever made as far as sound goes. Um, I'm going to eat those words when I go to review the other thing. And I'm like, this thing's pretty good. And I'm going to have to come back and fucking reference this stupid thing. They're great. They're great. And they deserve every bit of that wallpaper. Anyway, I'm Zeos Pantera. This is Z Reviews. Subscribe, like, whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care. Um, you probably won't see another video like this. Hopefully for a few. I like it when it lasts like a year or two. I don't like. That's why I didn't do I am reviews for so long because I would get the next one and it would be better than the last one. And you only have like a three day wait. I like when things stick around when they're the default for a while and these just came out, so they're gonna be around for a while, and hopefully they don't fuck up the JT two whenever that's a thing, and make it not as good as this because this. If this didn't fit as well or look as good, but sounded like this, I would still give it the recommendation. Everything's just a bonus, baby. All right, wallpaper in the hoard. Like I was saying, patron and subscribe star. See reviews early, participate in yard sales where I sell things internationally and free shipping locally. And then uh, sound demos. I don't believe I've sound demoed this yet. I have to check because I got this recently. Um, but those things for $5 for $10 behind the scenes telegram chat where you get to... Have anyone responded to that? I'm afraid to look. No, someone's listened to it besides me, I think. Mm, it's not going to be good. Um, you get to get that sort of treatment. You're very, very welcome. And once you're in that chat, you're in a permanent lifetime swap meet channel to buy, sell, and trade gear. In case you want to start this hobby and not spend a bunch, people sell things cheap all the time. Or if you've been in this hobby for a while and you're just like, fuck, I've got too much, Patreon chat, swap meet, sell some shit. Anyway, I'm Zios Pantera. Waifu wallpaper in the description. Thank you for everyone who's come by. I'm all my sponsors, who I don't have any sponsors in this video. I should, but desk mat. That's just the desk mat needs to be the desk mat. I'll link it if it still exists. A lot of these desk mats are disappearing. Uh, is this less than a 30 minute video? Please. Yay! Less than 30 minutes. I didn't think it was possible. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.